Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Tuesday, April 27th, 2021. I'm the Drunk Poker Tis Beer Time. Uh, big shout out to our friends at Trestle Brewing. Send along surprise beer mail. No idea it's coming. It's always a pleasant surprise when I'm at work. Mrs. Poco texts me. She's like, you've got beer mail. I'm like, I didn't order any beer. And she's like, eh, somebody's saying a beer. I'm like, well, thank you very much. We've had Trestle Beer before. They, uh, it's one of those breweries I really want to get to because it's supposed to be one of the prettiest breweries in Ontario because you see the bridge. So there's lots of different styles. Here's a hazy pale ale of wit, a couple of pills, some set to against the sours. Uh, I really like that. I've had this one before. The, uh, the the Belgian strong ale. This is a very nice beer. We're saving that for maybe tomorrow night because i got to work tomorrow. Uh, there's even a cast of recession stuff from Mrs. Polk. Uh, but for me, we're going to start with one of my favorite styles of beer. It's a white IPA, or Belgian style IPA, 6.5% BYB. It refers to Boneyard Bay. Um, it's, on, it, it's a place where they would put like old tiny ships back in the day uh, they just like burn them and they'd sink into the water not a good way to deal with your burned out ship back in the I guess back in the old days nobody cared too much now we worry about our water so they just thought they'd throw that thing out there very much into the local you know Perry Sound everything's about Perry Sound which is kind of cool and then it tells little stories in the back of every can about different things that happen up there and different local landmarks and whatnot so I, I kind of like that it makes it feel like you know more special for each beer. I, I had two beers last night. I was only going to have one beer, but then I had the two beers. So, but that was okay, too. Sometimes you have the two beers. <laughs> Again, that Belgian East smell. That's what I'm looking for. Citrus. A little bit of clove. Banana. Let's get into it. Cheers, my friends. Thank you to Trestle once again. As always, much appreciated. Much obliged. Cheers. It's good. That's it, it, it's what I'm looking for. So with, with these kind of beers, you do want a nice bright citrus because you're trying to meld basically American style IPAs with Belgian style beer, and you've got to find a way to make that work. The citrus notes are where it happens, right? This has got some peach, orange, lemon, lime. Uh, definitely getting clove. There's a peppery spice in the back, which I love. Uh, it goes well with the citrus pith. There's something about Getting that kind of clove and pepper on the back end that just I really enjoy in, in this style of beer. I think it works well with the citrus. I think this it, it delivers. There's some banana and there's some bubble gum. Um, but really, this is about that kind of orange citrus pit, the, the, the lemon lime, the clove, the banana, and then the pepper on the back. Nice bite on the back. A nice bite. Bright and shiny, too, eh? Refreshing. I like it. I, I like Trestle's beers. Like I said, I wish, really wish we could get up and visit places. I mean, soon, someday. I mean, I got the one shot now. This folks got the one shot. Soon we'll have two shots. Take over the world. But for now, brewed by the bay. Drinking down here in the grotto. Thank you much, guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Again, sometimes these are things that lift me up when I'm having not a great day and somebody says, hey, here's some beer. And you know, that's all I say. It's just a little note saying, you know, here's some beers to enjoy in the grotto. They will be enjoyed in the grotto. We'll put on a new grotto tent this week, so that's kind of fun. So there we go. I'm going to go have some dinner. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Be nice to yourself. Be kind to others. Cheers. BYB. BYOB. Be right back. <laughs>